What's up, YouTube? Today, we're looking at a cheetah pattern, case cheetah. This is chestnut bone. It's not bone made of chestnut. It's chestnut colored bone, okay? Um, I know that there are some reviewers, one of which, uh, one of whom I've sold a knife to in the past. He, for whatever reason, didn't understand that strawberry bone isn't actually made of strawberry, it's plastic. That was on um, a Remington knife. One of the older ones, the vintage ones, he paid like $20, so I hooked him up and then he was bitter about his, uh, his lack of understanding of how bones aren't made of strawberries. Anyway, Wow, very nice. Very nice cheetah pattern. You see there's a little bit of scuffing from the box. Storage wear. See if I can buff that out. I collect the cheetah, obviously. If you've uh, watched the channel for any length of time, you know I... So it'll be like my fifth one. I'm not really sure. I've got another one on the way besides this one. It's a green jig to bone. This is a very nice, very well done color scheme. The hues of this dye job. Mwah, chef's kiss. The cheetah pattern. Let's have a chat. Let's have a fireside chat with T. Why is it so good? One, just kind of like a gun stock. In that, um, I mean, actually, there are some gun stock pocket knives that look just like this. It's a swing guard knife, so it's a lot harder for your hand to jump over. And then eventually when these fall off, which they do, um, you can get in even closer on the, your detail work. I wouldn't use this to do anything silly like baton, mostly because that's dumb anyway. And people that do it are terminally online and don't go outside really. They need to touch grass. Because in reality, you would use a hatchet, right? You would use a hatchet. And you would use some gasoline. And you would use other little pieces of tinder. Um, I realize that the bushcrafting people like weirdly and obsessively use tools incorrectly and then like try to convince you that's how it's supposed to be done because that's what they saw on the internet. Well, when I grew up, um, I was six years old when the internet became a commercial thing. AOL and then another one called Juno. They were like the big dogs in town of the internet. And I was looking up pornography as a child I wasn't uh trying to figure out how to make a feather stick because I'm a normal person and I actually grew up in the country and one of the first things my dad bought for me was a hatchet and I really do I think a big part of me believes that these people that constantly feather stick and use knives incorrectly that their parents just didn't love them so they never got a hatchet but I did get a hatchet because my dad loved me very much yeah and these other people they're just uh, they're just terminally online and need to touch grass. And I think that's what's going on. Kind of like the people that, although they remind me of like the self-defense gurus that are like, you're going to grab the, not, you're the gun out of their hands. You're going to go like this. You're going to go, huh, 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 and you're going to take the gun away when really you're just going to get fucking murdered like a dumb bitch. That's what's going to happen. Ah, yep. Anyway, what a piece of cutlery. Real nice. Still tight. Still tight. There's a mama joke in there. Um, but yeah, that's about all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. And I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. I guess I can wax it up real quick. While I'm here. While I am here. I'm trusting everybody is having a good Sunday morning. 
They're opening up their GECs. They're looking at them. They're obsessively watching things about the knife that they just bought on YouTube. They're expanding their collections. All right, folks, that would be it. Later.